Welcome folks to another Let's Play. As you see in the screen background, you know what this game is. Produced by Capcom. Has violence and gore. Yes folks. It's the next game of the series. And... I love this game, but I'm suck at this at the same time. Let's play... Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Right. Before I continue, this will be, um, let me see my key configurations, auto, aim, enemy aim, all, quick turn, square map, yep, okay, where was action, okay, okay it's X, yes, right, okay I'm ready to play, and of course, I'm gonna beat this game like a ball, son. Hard mode. Three. Since they don't say two, I just added the three. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that no. lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. Yes. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. Yes, they did. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. Hmm. It's if true only. that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. No. Nope. Nothing. That's Joe Valentine, by the way. Last chance. And In case you didn't know, that's Joe Valentine with a new appearance. Another zombie outbreak. What are they? No. They're zombies, sir. <laughs> hmm. Looks like help's arrived. Looks like you're saved. Here comes back up. Yep, you are shooting away. Good job. You are can see it doesn't work. Do you know what annoys me? Do you know what annoys me with this? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you in a second after this cutscene. I'm sure you will agree. Someone's using their brain. Look at that. And I tell you, that was a big waste of time. As I was saying, do you know what annoys me of the cops? Why didn't the cops just aim for the head? Or the heart, even? But no. Farewell to my life, farewell to my home. This is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. But no, the cops wanted to keep constantly shooting. Which is annoying. Oh! Look at us, we're Jill. And you? You, Missy, are pretty silly. Save state. You're pretty silly going in the boob tube. Dodges? Very easily. I still can't believe you go in a zombie outbreak with a boob tube, Jill. A boob tube. Yes, she looks sexy and all, Jill, but... It ain't your purpose to cover your flesh. Yes. Go on, Jill. Run. Uh oh, run Jill! There we go. For now we're safe, as Jill runs. September 28th, daylight. Somebody's birthday the that I know. Have overtaken the city. Yes, they have. Somehow, I'm still alive. Somehow. That, that's an understatement, somehow. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? 
I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? A I'm shame. sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. Hmm. No! I'm not going anywhere. Don't blame you, sir. Starve to death in here, then be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. I don't blame you, sir. Poor dude. I don't blame you. You'll be safe in there by yourself if you just lock up. I told you, I'm not leaving. Never. Don't blame you. I do not blame you, sir. All right. You see, they've changed mechanics in this game. I'll show you in what way they've changed the mechanics. Where right, we'll take the first aid spray. Right. So you look. Know, normally, you have to press X to go up the stairs. But this game, you run up the stairs by yourself. So you don't have to tap no buttons. I'm gonna have to go ahead and save room because I'm going to um, remove most of these items. Oh wait, before I do anything, I'm just gonna um, oh nod on this wrong instruction booklet. Let's read on this. Sorry, I need to check the um, gunpowder mixing. As you see in a minute, you get a reloading tool, which you can create gunpowders. There we go. There's some of the things which I'll show you. So, I'm going to explain it as well. A is handgun bullets, B is shotgun shells, C is grenade rounds. Mix A and C, handgun, mix handgun bullets and grenade rounds, you get flame. Mix shotgun and acid, you get... Mix shotgun and grenade rounds, you get acid. And this is the best weapon of the game. This is the best um, mix, in my opinion, anyway. The, the last two, anyway. C plus C is freeze. Two grenade rounds. And then the triple C is magnum. So, yeah. Those are the best ones, really. So, yeah, we're going to be planning to get... Um, we're going to plan to get freeze rounds during the game. I will take the warehouse key. There we go. Look, two gunpowders. Nice. That's a start. Gunpowders. Alright, I'm going to show you the um, what it makes. Watch. Whoops. Yeah, see so one of the gunpowders. Mix it. Combine it with that. You get handgun bullets, as you can tell. But I'm not going to create handgun bullets. I'm not going to waste my gunpowder that easily. Don't need that. Not going to use the reloading tool for now. Or the gunpowder. So we got no choice but to leave. But I'm going to look for items as we get along. But yeah, that's how the reloading tool works. You combine gunpowder with the reloading, reloading tool. And then it gives you ammunition. So yeah, it's pretty vital. Um, let me check if there's ammunition around. Clearly not. Yes. Yeah, clearly not. So, okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah, not this way. So, this way. Use the warehouse key. You no longer need this key. We just cut. I'm not going to say it, but, like, how do they know the key is going to be useless? <coughs> just a theory. Most people would probably agree with me. How do they know that it's going to be useless? I would keep the keys. I don't care. If I was if I was a survivor, I would keep the keys. You never know if they will be useful still. But of course Resident Evil logic says that you don't need them. Wait, which way am I supposed to keep going? Back. Um Alright. I'll go this way actually. Uh Okay. Dodges. Well, dodge Jill. Looks from the other side, okay. Go this way. 
All right. Hmm. Go upstairs. Oh. Oh wow. Oh god. These guys are annoying. Get away! Right, get away. Get up. No, kidding, get up. Sit down. Oh god! Get off. Get out of the way. Get lost. Oops. Oh, duh. Get away from me. Yes, I will take the lighter oil. And oh yes, we will have the shotgun. Of course I'm going to take the shotgun. It's the best gun that I'm going to have for now. Oh my god. Get off. No avoiding that. Well, I'm gonna get away from these guys. Oh, green herbs! Brilliant! Yes, I will take them. For now. For now, we will take the green herbs. Um, map. Alright, let's go down. Let's go down here. Well, of course, I'm gonna pick up as much herbs as I can. Bye. Yep, dodging them with these. You're going to do a lot of backtracking in this game. Because it's Resident Evil, you've got no choice but to backtrack. Uh, should I pick up one? I'll pick up one. I'll pick up one of the herbs. Because I'm not going to have space for other items if I if I pick up this fourth, the second one up there. Map. Um, let's go this way. Pretty stupid. Okay. Pretty stupid move. In here we go. And someone shooting. Who could it be? It's Brad. Chicken heart. Coward. No, you're not biting me that easy. I'll just dodge you instead. It's Brad. And no, I am not going to help him. Hello, coward. You chicken heart. Go on, coward. Let you do it by yourself. Yes, do it by yourself, Brad. I'm not helping you. Brad, hang in there. Yes. Why isn't someone doing something about this? Because there's no one left. Still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's They're coming dead. for us. We're both gonna die. I'm not dying. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Stars members. There's no escape. Well, we're screwed, isn't it? Well, we're screwed if they're only after stars members. A payphone. No, I want the lighter, which I will take. We'll come. Oops. Combines normally at the bottom, you see, so I'm gonna get a bit confused with that. Right, let's look at this. Clock tower postcard. A picture of a postcard. A picture postcard of a clock tower. The following. 
the following explanation is printed on the back side a landmark spot say Michael clock tower and let me check if there's any ammunition which there is and I will take it because ammunition is pretty important in this game even though you get even though you make your own you're still gonna need it open the door map hmm alright I'm going that way now that's only a pukey zombie get out of the way run oh screw you I'm gonna get that herb because I want to nah I'll leave it only because of uh, you'll find out sooner or later oh, get off oh great I'm gonna have to use a herb or oh, I'll just go for it with caution I just came this way so I just lost my time oh god back here really bye I'll do this again though I went the wrong way so I slow stated my bad guys <laughs> yes Brad <laughs> yes hope you die Get away. no we're not helping you Brad I'm gonna look at this postcard while you're doing that and yes we've already read it and we're gonna get the ammo we're not gonna help you screw you Brad Pardon me, there's only way to fast forward this. If there's a way to fast forward it, I will. But we're gonna have to watch it again. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? Who knows? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Nothing. Listen, he's coming for us. Who? We're both gonna die. We are? What are you saying? You pessimistic fool. You'll see. He's after Star's members. There's no escape. And that's not good. It's after us too. We're, we're the member of Star's too. We're a member of Star's too. So that means we're pretty much screwed. Alright. Again. I'm going to go this way. Sorry about load staying. I went the wrong way. We're technically supposed to be going this way. Well, let's look at the map. Yeah, we're going. We're going the right way. <laughs> so yeah, we're going the right way. And we dodge. Bye. Bye. Ha ha ha. See you later. Is this the right way, by the way? Yes. Good. <laughs> We're going the right way. We're going somewhere now. It's locked from where? Locked from the other side. Okay. Yeah, I've not properly played this game properly. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back this way. I'm gonna have to take another way though. I do know where to go now. I just need to make sure I'm right before I even do anything. Bye. Bye. Yay. So let's go. Open the door. Yes. Come on. Where? Oops. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna go to the save room first, actually.
But yeah, I do know where I'm going off to the save room. I just need to go to the save room first because I've got too much items. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go to the save room. Which is right here. Yeah, sorry about not doing much this video, guys, and stuff like that. Yeah, sorry about not doing much in this video. But yeah, I need to, um... I need to get my head right for this game. I've played it and beat it before, but it's been a very long time, so you got to feed me on that note. Uh, Samurai. What's this? The third Resident Evil game. But anyway, when we come back, folks, we'll play more Resident Evil 3. Until then, until then, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.